of the Pro Bono Committee is to provide CKM skills to projects that have the potential to have a positive impact on social issues. I decided to join the challenge because, you know, people in developing countries have a hard time getting access to clean and curated data. And I think that this project is important because the UN provides a lot of valid data sources uh, that can empower people in these developing countries. I wanted to create something that could reach different kinds of people. It's rare that you can make something that helps such a broad range of needs. I decided to do the challenge for two main reasons. The first was it was an opportunity to build a real product that might be used to spread innovation across the globe. The second reason was it was an opportunity to get my hands on open source technologies and collaborate with my peers in product development. I really like the UN as an organization because it is the one global organization we have that can gather data at a global scale about communities in the world and in so doing it makes it possible for us to build solidarity between people who otherwise would not know anything about each other. Eleven people participated in this project and we had three different teams. There was a team for web development, a team for data scientists, and a team of scrapers. And at the end of it we were able to create a platform that unifies information and users are able to actually search and filter. Pro bono is really important for us because we give back to society using very advanced techniques. So um, that was one of the, um, the, the solutions that, were, uh, that was created uh, by that team, uh, CKM Advisors, uh, the Pro Bono Committee. And um, as you can see here, they, they, um, they, the most important thing that I would like to highlight in their solution is that anything that it results from, from a search has to point back to the original uh, data source, which is the platform. So the idea is to bring more, more uh, uh, people uh, to find the technologies that are in the Nordic Innovator Accelerator, in the Chinese Technology Transfer Platform, in the um, UNFCCC platform, and so on.